And at some point, usually during an assembly, I ask the question, I probably won't ask it here today just because of time, but I usually ask the question, what do you want to do with your life? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? And I get all these answers. And I was in Florida speaking, and I asked the question, what do you want to do with your life? And a very, very um, theatrical type person in the very back row was waving at me. He wanted me to call on him. I go, yeah, man, what's your purpose? What's your dream? He goes, I want to be a drug addict. And that was the response. That kind of like, well, bless your heart. I went around the room and I saw his hand go up a second time. And I thought, well, should I? And I went, okay, do you have a second dream? He said, yes, sir, I do. I want to go to prison. No one laughed. And I said to him in front of everyone, I said, well, if you successfully accomplish dream number one, dream number two is well on your way. I said, I'd like to talk to you afterwards, please. He said, okay. And when I got through speaking, I had all these students down here wanting to talk. And I saw him coming down this long aisle and he froze. And in a split second, he made a decision, and his choice was to walk away from me, leaving me with a choice. Do I stay with all those who had gotten what I said, or do I go after the one? Best-selling book of all times. There's a guy taking care of 100 sheep. One sheep split. He left 99, went after the one. I'll be right back. I walk after this young man. He looks over his shoulder, sees that I'm following him. I begin to get a little closer. He walks faster away from me, so I walk faster. He then begins to jog. I jog. He then hits the outside door and he's running as fast as he can, and I catch him. And by this point, the entire student body is plastered against a, a wall. They're going, why is that speaker chasing that guy? <laughs> and I go, man. And he's like, <gasps> I said, dude, you are out of shape. This is embarrassing. He says, I know I got to do something about it. I said, ever done drugs? No, sir. Ever been to a prison? No, sir. He wanted one thing in that assembly. He wanted some attention. He wanted somebody to tell him, your life matters. I said, let me tell you about a young man I met in a prison. In that prison, I asked these students, what do you want to do with your life? And there was a guy in the very back row, and he wouldn't answer my question at all. Every, every other student answered me that day except this one. And the teacher says, Dean, do you see this artwork? I said, yeah, there was artwork around the, the, the ceiling and the, the wall of, the, of this prison. She said, the young man that won't talk to you is the artist. I said, you got a gift. He said, yep. So what are you going to do with it? And he shut down. And I heard this still small voice on the inside of me say, why don't you take him outside and talk to him, just the two of you? I was like, why don't you take him outside and talk to him? The teacher said, I'll tell you what, Dean, I'll give you five minutes outside. It's his choice to go, and we're not responsible if he does. I said, how about it, man? Will you go talk to me? And he stood up. And when he stood up, I went, oh, dear Lord, sit back down. This guy was three of me. He was huge. I said, I'll follow you. We walked outside this little classroom, prison classroom, turned left, and there's a wall of windows here that you could see us. I looked up at him. He looked down at me. I extended my hand to shake his hand. We shook hands, and I only said four words. And the toughest, baddest guy in the prison who would not talk to me broke and cried. I said, I believe in you. Go with me not to Florida to a young man who says, I want to be a drug addict and go to prison. I said, buddy, I believe in you too. He says, you don't know what I did last night. I said, don't tell me. I don't want to know. I can't affect your past. We have no guarantee that tomorrow's going to show up. We have this gift called today. Let's wrap this up.